Hey YouTube, uh, here we go again. Um, let's get this model done. Okay, so you can see that I have already um, painted him silver. I also gave him a black wash, a light black wash, just to get some detail in there. There's our statue. Also you can see I have base coated and given a first layer dry brush to the base. This is stuff I didn't feel was super important. You can do yourself. Um, I'll go into more detail on it if you need me to. But this is just uh, GW's bolt gun metal with a bad dab black wash. So let's get into some pigments. Uh, we're going to play with rust. So there are three different rust pigments. We're going to start out with... Well, let's start with rust theory. Um, rust is an orangish red color uh, that's caused by the oxidation of metal. I guess you could say steel, uh, different metals, iron, um, and what happens is the oxygen reacts with it causing rust to form. Um, old rust will be darker uh, than newer rust. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with Rust 3 from Awesome Paint Job um, because it is the darkest and we're just going to start with it. So I. This is literally the first time I've done this. I don't really know what I'm doing, but let's just kind of see what happens. Um, I'm going to start over here on the shoulder pad and just kind of dust it on, I guess, where I think the rust would be. Um, and for this, also, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol. Um, and we're going to use that as a fixative for it. Um, and what it's going to do for us is actually seal on the rust pigments. Now what I'm doing is I'm mainly doing this around battle damage. Because usually metals are fixed with some sort of... Um, I don't know if it's a sealer or um, something that prevents the oxidation. Like stainless steel is a good example, is it won't oxidize. Um, or it's, I shouldn't say it won't, I should say it resist it. So we're just gonna kinda slab on some. And I'm using a dry brush right now. Uh, it is not wet. I'm just kind of hitting up areas. Uh, you'll see this a lot of times where paint has chipped. So large areas of wear and tear. So if I get the miniature out of the frame, I'm still kind of adjusting to having it so far forward. And you're going to waste some as it falls off, and that is okay. If you need to, guys, if there's extra just kind of floating on it that you don't want, give it a little tap or blow on it slightly. Not very hard. When I say slightly, I mean very slightly. Just gonna apply it where needed. Um, <laughs> I know this must be kind of boring, but it's a tutorial. Live with it. Get some down on his gun. On his <laughs> on his gun as I do the sword. I'm sorry, guys. It's early. Also, rust is caused with water, um, where water can pool. So, in crevices and the like. Okay. I think I've gotten most of the areas I want to get. Get some in there. 
Alright, so that's the rust one. Um, just kind of hit it here and there. Nothing too heavy. In fact, I want to get a little bit more in there. Now, once you get that on, kind of clean your brush off. Uh, don't forget to put the lid back on. <laughs> That'd be bad. Ooh, do I want some there? Yeah. I know this is meant for tanks and stuff, but let's just play with it a little bit. Now I'm going to go up. I don't want this rust to look too fresh, so I'm only going to go up to rust 2 today um, instead of rust 3. Or rust 1, rather. My bad. So again, same thing, just grab some rust and kind of apply it. And this will lighten up some parts. You want to use this a little bit more sparingly than the other one. just where the rust would be freshest. Hope y'all are enjoying this. I am. You know what? That looks pretty good. He looks rusty. Um, put a little on his face. Hey now guys, I'm gonna put your cap back on. Clean your brush. Now we're gonna take isopropyl alcohol, also known as um, rubbing alcohol. I need a container for this, I did not think about that. Um, guys, do not drink, do not inhale this. Let me get a container real quick. This will work. Um, this is just the top of a blister pack I got. You will not need much. I mean... That was just a cap full. Oh, and it... Mmm, burning the eyes. So, get a little on your brush. And this is actually fixing the rust in there and you'll see a color change and that's okay it should darken a little actually it might darken a lot <laughs> so Hmm. In hindsight, I wish I'd put more pigment on. It is not very visible at all. So, sorry, I totally had that off camera. So there you go, guys. That is a weathered space ring. Um, 